Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, please subscribe and like my video if you would like to. I would really appreciate it. So today I will be using the Pure and Raw Beauty Christy palette. I recently did a look using the bright side and it was beautiful and I loved it. It was really, 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 really pretty. Um, it should already be up in my channel if you want to take a look at it. That's a completely silent video. Actually, it's a voiceover. Sorry. Um, but this time I thought I should talk a little bit and I will be using the neutral side. And I might add a pop of color at the end just because I love color. So far, I like the palette. It was very beautiful. I liked, well, at least for the bright side, um, the colors were very pigmented. Um, they were very smooth and they really blended very, very, very nicely. So um, I'm pretty sure the neutral side is going to be just the same. I'm excited to play with that. I know there's already a bunch of videos out there about this palette, but I just had to do it. Um, I already usually never do my, my foundation and my base before I do an eye look, but today I decided to do that so I wouldn't waste any time. So my eyebrows are done, they're primed, I already have my foundation on and everything. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do a neutral look. I'm excited. I'm happy. I like neutral looks. I will go for a neutral look when I don't want to think of what colors to use. And those are pretty easy and it's really basic. Um, but I'm like, I'm a bright person. I'm like, both wise? No, usually I wear black. But for my eyes or for my hair, give me all the colors. Um, so I'm going to go all over my lid with my whole heart which is a light, peachy, creamy pink. Um, and that's just going to give me a nice transition, a nice, I'm like setting my, my lid pretty much. Instead of using the setting powder, I'm using this very light color to set every, to set it so whenever I do add another pigment, it's much easier for it to blend. No, thank you, honey. My daughter's right here and she wants to help me. So she got some, we went to Target yesterday and she chose makeup. And she's trying to give me her makeup to use. But I'm gonna stick with these colors. Now I'm gonna go, now I'm gonna go with Camelot, which is a nice little yellow. I first went with this color over here, the peachy white color. It's not white, it's like the cream color. And I'm going with this one over here, which is really pretty yellow. Hmm. How would I describe it? I think of what it reminds me of fall. So fall golden yellow. It's very, very pretty and it's very, very pigmented. I wasn't trying to pack it on, but I wasn't really thinking. I was trying to figure out what to call it. So I'm going to put it all over my lid. I'm just going to skip the, the center. I want that bright. I feel whenever I have the center clear, it makes my eyes look bigger and I can add something like that. So I think my laptop is working again. My sister returned it back to me. She said she couldn't figure it out. And then I tried calling the Apple store and I gave them my laptop number but I was on wait and it was way too long. They, my sister, I, I called I think at seven or maybe 6.30 and they closed, they stopped helping people by eight. So by seven, I think 7.30, they still hadn't answered so I decided to hang up on them. And I was like, I'll just call again some other day. And I haven't called, but I did start using my laptop yesterday and I had like two other videos I had already filmed, pre-filmed. Um, and I managed to edit and upload quite easily without any issues, which is amazing. Okay, so I'm just blending um, in circular motions, taking it up to my eyebrow and bridge. My eyebrow, the 
beginning of my eyebrow and the bridge of my nose. So sometimes it is a little hard for me to do my makeup, my eye makeup, because I do wear glasses and I am a bit more blind on one eye than the other. But I refuse to wear contacts because I don't feel comfortable wearing them. And I um, I don't like wearing my glasses. I'll only wear them when I'm driving or when I'm reading. But I don't like it. Okay, so now I think I'm going to use Told You, which is a very warm brown. The one down here. It's very, very warm. It's really pretty. It's very pretty. I think that color would be just beautiful on its own. And I'm going to get a tad bit and take it on my crease to darken that up. You can see it goes really nice with that yellow. Um, I'm going to take my other brush again and I'm going to go back into that yellow. Um, let's make sure it's not, we don't lose that yellow because that yellow is just. If you want to do a makeup look and you're trying to, you don't know how to blend it out and how to make it look um, smooth, my suggestion is usually warm tones warm tones do it for me all the time but yellows or oranges mainly yellows try yellow first and then you can go for an orange they they do it all the time no matter what even if you're doing a smoky look like a black eye and you want it to transition into your own i, I would suggest a yellow very lightly you don't have to like do it super yellow where it's like black and yellow but smooth it, it would help I, I think it would help at least that's my suggestion okay I think the eyes are almost done it's gonna be a very simple simple look because I'm not trying to go all crazy right now um, I think it looks very pretty um, see I don't like it when it skips sometimes it skips and right now you can tell a little bit on my eyelid that it's skipping but that's that's not the shadows it's my eyelid it's I don't know if it's the way I'm applying the eyeshadow or the way, I don't know if it's my technique or what, but it's happened several times and it's not the eyeshadows. I know it's, it's happened quite a few times. Um, but when that happens, I've noticed that if I continue blending and I blend slower and concentrate right there, it will actually help. And right now I have a clean brush and I'm going to blend. And with blending, I'll do small circular motions. Circular. To make those little lines disappear. Which they did. I need to go get my eyebrows done. I haven't done, I like getting them waxed, not threaded. And I need to go get my face waxed. And okay. So I will get, I think I want to use a little bit of It Just Does, which is a salmon-y, it's not an orange, it's not a red, it's like a little salmon, it's like a little burnt salmon I would say, but for sure it's like in the salmon side of the colors, and I'm just going to put that, oh yes. I just patted some right here where I have the um, brown, which is I told you so, and it looks very, very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, there. And okay. the same brush I used to add I told you so, which was the brown, I'm going to go ahead and get B which is another brown, but it's more of a cool tone brown. It's a little grayish brown. And just a little bit. I should have used a pencil brush for this. But it worked. Okay. So I never do my face before my makeup just because I don't want fallout. I'm scared of getting fallout, but I did get a wee bit fallout with um, the brown um, B, 
and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my brush and sweep that off. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, it's gone. It's not that bad. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom lash line. I think I'm gonna go and get some other brushes because I don't have a small brush to do the bottom line, and I am going to drag it quite low, but I still need something that's a little bit more precise. Okay, I went to grab three brushes. Um, Alright, so I'm going to use one of my small brushes and I'm going to take um, Camelot again, which is a yellow, and I'm just going to drag that all over my lower bottom, uh, bottom lash line. Okay, and now I'm going to get. Um, I think I'm going to use the same brush. It just does, which is the salmon color. Jesus. These colors are just insane. They're very, very pretty. It's crazy. Because if anyone has been watching my channel, which only like five videos a melt girl melt cosmetics i love that brand okay i'm going to the bright side and i'm going to get some flavor tone which is this intense beautiful crazy red and i'm just going to get that on a bigger brush and i'm going to put that in the bottom line just to give myself a pop of color So pretty. Hi, baby. Let's go, Let me go. Let me take taking a brush with no color, no nothing, and I'm going to continue blending that so I can kind of drag it down. And now I'm going back with. The neutral palette I'm gonna get some of um, the color B I'm going to add that to the crease to deepen the crease a bit so there you go okay see that I'm gonna do it to the right so you can tell it's not there I'm gonna see Okay. Okay. And I want to I'm just gonna take a brush. Are just so pretty. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm blending that. The brown is a little bit too harsh, so I'm kind of blending it out a bit with uh, Told You So, which is the first brown I used. It's the warm tone brown that goes good with that yellow. Okay. Alright, looks good. I am going to take Golden Ticket, which is the gold that she has in the center. Um, I'm going to take that with my finger and I'm going to apply that all over the brighter side of my lips. See the difference? Okay. Okay, that looks beautiful. Now I'm going to go on the other side with Cafe Disco, which it looks off off the bat on the palette. It looks like a rosy gold um, shimmer, but if you swatch it, it looks more like a ah, it looks more like a silver. It has more of a silvery. So I'm going to put that in my 
with water. What is that called? Well, in the middle. Just, what is that called? It's not my water line. Well, in the inner corners of my eye. Okay. I think this look is quite done. And look, this is more for like examples on girls that don't know how to use bright colors. Um, because I remember when I used to work, a lot of the, my coworkers at work would ask me how do they use the red that they they don't feel comfortable using such a bright color just like that. Well, this is, I would say, a perfect example. I'm using mainly nudes and using browns, yellows on all over my eye. But in the bottom waterline, um, I ended up using the, the 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 red, the red with the orange, and some of the salmon color. And it looks it looks quite nice. It doesn't look like it's too much, at least not to me. Um, see, since I have this mirror that's a little bit further, I can tell some stuff. Maybe once I start wearing my glasses or I get up close and in better light, I'll be able to tell if anything needs extra blending. Um, let me go ahead and put on a lip and then we will come back and talk about the palette. Okay, so I popped on some lashes and some mascara um, along with some melt brown liner called Spliff gel liner and I am wearing for my lips the sequel liquid lipstick from Mount Cosmetics. Um, so this is the look I did with the Raw Beauty Christie palette um, using the neutral side mainly only one color from the um, colorful side which was Flavor Town and it's the, the red. Um, I like this look. You can go ahead and see that is the eyes. Um, would I recommend this palette? Yes. Um, it's limited edition, so even if I do recommend it or I don't, unfortunately you can't get it anymore. Um, but it's an idea of how to use a bright color like red with neutral browns and neutral colors. Um, I think it could be an everyday look for someone that is new with bright colors and doesn't know how to use them. I would suggest using it in the bottom. It would very... Um, It would mask um, how bright it looks. It would very, it would balance it out. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And I was talking really, really quietly because my son was asleep. He is not awake, so it's okay if I talk loud. And thankfully, I am done. Um, but yes, thank you again for watching. Please subscribe and like my video. Um, follow me on my Instagram which is money underscore MUA, I want to say. All right. Thank you very much. And bye.